Welcome back. I want to do a quick video on Unify and Drouter together. Uh, one of my very first videos, uh, what I was just starting about thinking about starting this was a video on how to forward your NVR ports through your edge router. And this video is going to show you which ports you need for Unify from outside your network to your Unify controller and how to forward those ports. And I want to preface this by saying what we're going to do here is port forwarding, uh, which is is a form of of DNAT. But in the edge router, when you use port forwarding, you don't have the control over this, and it exposes these ports to the entire world. So this, if this is what you're looking for, if you need to be able to inform devices back to your controller, no matter where they're at this will be the video for you if you've got specific IPs you need to lock it down to you're gonna to need to use DNAT and I'll put a a link to my DNAT video in the uh, description so today we are gonna forward unify ports through the edge router and ubiquity has on the support site under unify wireless and unify getting started they have a unify port used page so this should be updated with the latest ports that we need. So let's take a look at what that is. So the first port is 8080, and that is for the devices to inform the controller. 8443 is the secure port to be able to get to the Unify interface. Now, you if you don't want to access the controller from anywhere else, then you don't need this port. If if you're going to have a portal or you're going to access this from everywhere else, you're going to need 8443. Uh, 8880 is the port for HTTP portal redirect, and 8843 is the port for HTTPS portal redirect. And, you know, we should always be using secure connections when we can. Um, 27117 this is for your MongoDB do not expose your MongoDB uh, to the internet unless you have a really good reason and I can't think of any so we are going to pretend that we in this video have a controller that we're going to open to the world we're going to have a hotspot we're going to have devices from from different places so let's hop over to the edge router uh, and actually let's do this from the beginning so you can see so we're going to get to our edge router and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the firewall slash NAT tab and we're just going to use this port forwarding for this and our WAN interface we have to select that so that is ETH0 and then we have to add a LAN interface now if you're running your Unify controller plugged directly into one of the ports then you could select that port in our case we're running uh, three of our ports in a switch so we're going to select switch zero because the Unify controller is plugged into one of those and here we'll go ahead and click apply now you see this hairpin NAT option uh, it's also known as NAT loopback or NAT reflection what this allows you to do and I'm, I'm not a fan of this I would rather run split DNS but what this allows you to do is if this is enabled your traffic can go out of your firewall and make a hairpin turn and come right back. So if you don't have DNS and you need to be able to access, you know, uh, if you don't have split DNS and you need to be able to access things inside uh, using the external IP, that is one way that you can do it. So let's go ahead and go back and look at our ports. And we are going to use ports 8080 for inform. We're going to use 8443, 8880, and 8843. 
So we're going to hop back over here and we're going to add our first rule and we're going to add 8080. And that is going to be TCP and our internal uh, Unify server is 1.100. We're going to forward to 8080 and we're going to call this, uh, let's call it Unify Inform. We're going to add another rule. Let's add next port we're going to use 8443 and that'll be TCP 192 let's see 1.100 8443 and this is going to be Unify GUI uh, 8880 TCP And this is going to be Unify Portal Redirect. And then the last one we're going to use is 8843. And let's see here. And this is going to be Secure. Unify portal redirect and we're going to go ahead and apply that configuration now assuming that you've set your WAN interface correctly and your LAN interface and your IP address correctly you should now be able to browse to the IP address that you've got on your WAN interface to one of these ports from outside now if you had hairpin enabled you could do it from inside and your Unify controller should come up you can start setting the inform on devices outside of your network to this WAN interface and they would show up for adoption. So that's that. One more quick thing is there are some other ports, but there is no need to open the firewall ports. Just remember on your controller, avoid using these ports. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share, and I'll see you at the next video.